Hi, I'm Juan from One on One Music Studio, and I'm here today to show you how to use the popular app Acapella. You've been probably seeing a lot of videos online lately with split screens, two screens, four screens, six screens, and people collaborating and doing things together long distance and making duets and trios with yourself. And you're wondering, how do you do this? So I'm here to show you this cool app, which is user friendly, and you can learn how to do this pretty quickly. And the more you explore like anything else, the better you'll get at it. My personal review on this app is it's, it's a pretty good user-friendly app, but like any other app, it's, you know, it's been around for only a few years. So there's going to be glitches and, and there's a couple of glitches where it will crash, you know, sometimes. Um, my best suggestion is to maybe delete some apps and make space in your phones um, or your iPads. And by the way, it's only user-friendly with your phones and iPads. It's not user-friendly with a computer. So that is my personal, you know, opinion on that. It's a free app for seven days. And then I think you pay a monthly fee for about $10 after that. So feel free to try it out and see you have nothing to lose. So the first thing you do is you go to your app store or, you know, you go somewhere and you download it on your phone or iPad. So once you download it, you will see this screen. You'll see all of these examples of projects that people posted on here. And they're really great. You should explore them and you know, get some examples of some work. And then at the bottom of the screen, you will see this in the center, you will see the icon, the microphone icon, red button. You will press that when you're ready to begin a project. And then you will have this screen pop up and it gives you the choice of join collaboration or record new. And what you want to do is hit record new, even if you're gonna be collaborating with someone. Record new means new project. So you will touch that you know button and then you will have this pop up and you will have a choice of selecting classic or premium. And what you want to do is you want to select classic. It is the free version and it's just the simplest one to show you. So you have all these templates. And for today's demo, I'm going to show you a simple one. I'm going to choose uh, two, uh, two rectangles here on the left. So I will press that. And this next screen pops up and it says, you know, how many, how long do you want it to be? I'm going to keep this short to 15 seconds just to show you a demo. You'll press next. And then this next screen pops up and you get a choice now of which screen do you want to use to record first. So I'm going to choose the right one. And so you press on the right screen and then you will position yourself where you feel you need to be. Uh, and I suggest highly using a microphone. If you could connect a microphone, uh, it's just easier for playback if you wanna you know, tune it better and things like that. So definitely try to use some kind of earbuds or earbuds or something. So then at the bottom of the screen, when you're ready to record, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the red button, the record button. And so you press it and it will count down. I believe it's four, three, two, one, and then you begin. So as you see, I took off my headsets. I did that for the demo so that you can hear both parts on playback. So here goes, let's try it. We all need somebody to lean on. All right, so when you're done, you press stop, and you will have this come up, and it will say either continue or redo. And if it came out okay, even if it's not perfect, you just press continue, and it will play it right back. We all need somebody to lean on. All right, and if you liked it, you will press OK over there. And it renders it. And now you're ready to begin your next screen. So you will go to the, press the left screen. And there it is again. And when you're ready, you will press the red button again and it will count down. We all need somebody to lean on. All right, and then you let it kind of run its course, and then again, it will say continue or redo. We're just gonna play continue just because it's a demo and I don't have time to perfect this. So continue, it will render it again and play it back. We all need somebody to lean on. All right, so there you have it. And if you kind of, 
you know, if you think it's good and you like it and it, you know, you've perfected it, you will again press the upper uh, right-hand side of uh, the check and it will render it again. And here's a really cool feature. So at the bottom of your screen, on the up, uh, bottom left, you will see a play button, but next to that, you will see the sound icon. You're gonna press the sound icon. So here's the really cool thing. You get to now edit a little bit. Now it's like a little mini studio. So let's say you want a little reverb, you know, you can adjust or echo. I want a little echo. Um, or you want the volume to be, you know, the volume's too loud and you can, you know, adjust the volumes. So just scroll up and down and play with those um, lever levels. And so once you are happy with it, you can play back um, and see. All right, so then you want to also edit the you know, rectangle on the right and the singer on the right. So you will do, you know, adjust volumes. Again, I'm not perfecting, I'm just showing you a demo. So we'll do reverbs and a little bit of echo. And now it will play it back for you. So let's say you're happy with the product and here it is. We all need somebody to lead on. All right, so let's say that you- We all need- Whoops. So let's say that you really liked it. You again, press the check mark on the upper right and it will now render it. All right, so once you're happy with your project, you are going to press share on the upper right. And this is an important screen right here. Don't just go through this quickly. So you've got three choices here. You've got public, private, or collaboration. And what you want to do, if, especially if you're gonna collaborate with someone, is you want to go to that third choice and you want to press collaboration because that allows the other person to edit and add their voices on it. So then you want to, let's say you want to collaborate, you will then send it through, let's do SMS, okay? And you're going to send it as a text. So it will render it for you. And you'll have that screen pop up and you will enter whatever name you want and you will share it and send it and, uh, you know, I'm going to press cancel now because I'm not sharing it, but you will, you know, share it with that person and then they will have it. They get to then explore, then make sure that they press collaborate and share it back with you if you want to edit. Um, and then you can post it on social media. If you don't want to collaborate with someone and you just, you know, you just do a duet with yourself like I did, you will then press share. And then on your choices, you will press public and public allows you to post it on this app. And it also allows you, you know, to have anybody see it. So you can um, do that as well. All right. Hope you learned something new today. That was a lot of fun. So if you have any questions at all for me, please feel free to contact me on one-on-one -on -one music studio or follow me on YouTube and don't be afraid to explore. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people get intimidated by this stuff. But I think it's a really cool way to express yourself and to collaborate and have fun with others and make some really cool, super cool music. So have fun out there and have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.